Hey everybody, welcome back to Wilson Builds. If you're new here, I'm Zach. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're returning from a previous video on my channel, you guys are awesome. I appreciate all the support. As always, guys, it really motivates me to keep making videos for you guys. That being said, since we have done the floors and the roads for now, we're gonna move to the trunk. Um, I'd like to get flooring and siding in and hopefully get the gas tank sort of mounted. I got a gas cap now. Oh, will it work? There we go. And I'm gonna to try to put it somewhere kind of in this region so we can just do a small tubing section down to the gas tank. And uh, yeah, we'll see where the video goes. We might do a little more in the interior, but I think this is gonna be a pretty big job getting it all in there. So uh, bear with me. All right, so let's firstly get the gas tank out and then we can start building a template for the floors inside here. So I think the key to building these floors is gonna be doing it in two sections because it is kind of tapered and it'd be hard to kind of shoot them in there. Okay, so essentially we can follow these lines and cut them. Obviously there's a little bit that we didn't draw because they were so kind of already built out. That being said, we can uh, start, cu oh, start cutting. Let's build my drink. Okay, we're lined up much better now in a spot where I'm happy. Obviously it's overlapping here by, I don't know, maybe a quarter, I can't really see. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a line straight down and make a reference point. Now, we gotta just make sure it's all even on both sides and we can start tracing our pattern out on the bottom so we know where to do our bead rolling. Okay, I'm gonna get back underneath now and start marking up our areas that will need to bead roll. Okay, let's see the result. Okay, 
so now we're going to start doing our templates for the side here. Um, we are going to use plywood, like I've said before. I'm um, just using it because it's easy, uh, easy to cut, easy to fit, uh, forgiving. Let's start getting out a template. I think it'll be pretty easy, but uh, we'll see. We basically came up with this. I'm just gonna slap it in the other side here, make sure we're okay. Looks like it's gonna work for this side as well, which is good. Now we just gotta make our reference points as to where to drill our wood. So we know that is kind of this major piece falling along this here. But for this one, that's not matched up with a support piece. Just gotta do two lines down here. And I'm gonna do two lines up here. Yes, there's a big whoop here. My bad. All right, so we have our holes drilled. Now we can take our transfer punch. If you don't have these, they are a lifesaver. Just gotta find the right one. And I don't know if this is just my kind of way of doing it, but I've had problems in the past with rib nuts um, coming out or getting loose and probably operator error on my behalf. But recently I've just been grounding the spot down, putting the rib nut in and then just welding it. I'm gonna put the side panels in, but for the sake of it, I'm just gonna put the floors in because they're kind of just hanging out, not doing anything. And then we can kind of get a really good idea of what we're working with. All right, so I kind of put everything back into place. I got my old battery out of the 55. We got our gas tank in. Mind you, it's gonna be up a little bit. So for our side panels, which are kind of like, I guess, like this. I'd like to have something sort of on the long, the lines of this here. But mind you, this kind of angle might be difficult. So if we took our panel and went, and maybe we were able to get a straight piece and it just cut off kind of right here, and then we can do our panels, that might be better there. So I think this panel is gonna be the way to go because we can get a long strip across here that can kind of buckle over and we can get our it's kind of like this. And the nice thing about wood is we can glue it, we can staple it, we can do whatever we want. So I'm gonna start with drawing the design on the template, or I guess the panel, and uh, figuring out from there. I'm trying to stay mindful of the bolt holes so we don't have a bolt and a washer going right over a fold, but I don't think I can win that battle in this case to make it look good. So we're gonna start with drawing our upper panel and then we will do our smaller downward panels. So 
So I'm going to take our vinyl. And this is just cheap vinyl. I got the, probably the cheapest stuff when I did the truck because you screw up a lot and screwing up expensive stuff is not fun. So I'm not gonna lie, I cut this pretty close. So we're going to have to do very close when we go to uh, overlap this all. Um, I'll show you when we get there. It's going to be very close to pull over, so we might run out of room, but that's okay in the fact that our gas tank will likely hide our little mistake. So we just have to focus more on that end that kind of comes down towards the rear of the car. Now we have all our panels numbered and we can move forward. So that being said, normally for any car upholstery, you'd put a foam in here. Um, you put a foam in there to give that nice puffy look, to give it a nice kind of finished look and doesn't look just like that. And that's essentially what it would look like, just flat and uh, lame, I guess. That being said, foam is very expensive and this being my first time, I got this kind of, I don't know, substitute fabric with foam on it. Very thin, but still has the foam. So we'll get a nice kind of finished look and it will feel like there's foam underneath it. Obviously it's not gonna be, you know, your typical foam, but we have enough of this that it's gonna, it's gonna look plush and it's gonna look finished. All right guys, good news. I bought a sewing machine, uh, which came at perfect timing for this video because we are doing upholstery. Um, this was uploaded on Facebook Marketplace for like five, 10 minutes maybe before I bought it, or at least sent them an offer. I bought it the day after. So yeah, really, really excited to uh, learn a whole different world of automotive stuff. Um, you know, this is a big learning curve for me. So. Very excited to get that kind of uh, under my belt a little bit, run some seam, run some thread, and essentially just try a new thing out. I mean, this journey is all about learning, so I'm going to start sewing all our panels now. I think I got it all set up. I mean, there's a big thread goes in a hole and then up a hole and then through this pole and then three times through here and then around and it was a big process, but I did a little bit of a test panel and I really liked the result. So I think we're ready to start uh, sewing our panels through the trunk. All right, so we got all our strips all clean cut now. And we want that kind of pullover folded look. I can't really mimic it. Kind of like that, I guess. It'll look like that in the end. So what we gotta do, sandwich the two vinyl pieces and we're just sewing the backside and we should get a good line. We got a product like that. And we'll have a couple stacks of these and hopefully it makes up the gap for our bottom panel. Our panel is done. I know some of the spots are uneven, that's my own fault. That being said, it's gonna be kind of swooped underneath the panel anyways, and the top, if it's uneven, is gonna be covered by uh, the top panel piece that we're gonna do. So that being said, let's get the top panel piece uh, started. Essentially, this piece is gonna be like this, and kind of tight around the corners, and then we'll have our top panel piece we'll just sew right on top of here. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but we're gonna be doing it anyways. All right, there we go. 
So I think it's pretty even, um, besides obviously these bottom pieces, which will be rolled. There's some muck and stuff on it, but I think uh, the real test will be when we put it on the panel. It should be a lot tighter than this, but that's kind of the idea of what it's gonna look like. I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but I'm really happy with that actually. That's, uh, that's cool. This is basically as tight as it's gonna get, I think. How does that look? Take a good look at it here. Not so bad. I'm gonna clean it up, see if we can get these white marks out, and uh, we can go try it in the car. I'm gonna cut away some of the excess, and uh, yeah. Pretty happy with that, actually, for my first go around. It's essentially what we're looking at. I'm having a bit of a hard time finding the bolt holes. But that can be a problem for when we have both of them in and we're finally gonna do a final kind of put in. So that being said, let's go start the other one and then we can take a start on the floors. Okay, so we have both the side panels done now. I have one floor panel done. I will show this one on camera and then we will drill for our spot weld pieces. And fingers crossed, we can actually get this all spotted in today and uh, and working. So the floors are in, there's some obviously a little bit of hand working I have to do to the metal. But I'm gonna take it out now and start drilling our holes for our spot welds. And then we can essentially start welding it in. I just have to finish our welding in these places and then grind these welds down. So we'll do that quickly. Okay, so the floors are all done. There is some gaps in the welds and stuff still, but I could always go over there and uh, fill them. That being said, this is getting covered with a, like a dynamat and then an insulator and then a carpet. So I'm not overly picky about any of that because you're not gonna see it. And from the bottom side, you won't see the welds anyways. That being said, I'm super happy how it turned out. And I'm gonna start putting in the side panels, um, the battery and the gas tank just to see our final product. Okay. Everything is looking great. I'm super happy with uh, how far we've come. We have one job left to do for this video and that is to install our gas cap. So we just gotta make sure our gas tank is kind of centered and where we really want it because we're only gonna have one shot to get this and this guy in the right place. So I'm gonna start doing some measurements, pull the battery out and just kind of move the gas tank where it needs to be. And then we can just drill our hole and hopefully be right on the money with this guy. All right, let's, so we're just gonna measure the center of this. I just put a piece of tape on so we don't have to uh, color on the gas tank itself. So we're at 29, a little over 29 and a half. So 14, 
three quarters. So I got a good idea of our center cap now because we can just go two inches off kind of that line we just did because we know the cap is two inches. Cool thing I noticed was the gas cap lines perfectly up with the steering column. So we have some symmetry coming down, which I like, because if you look at the back of the car and you see symmetry, it you know adds to the effect. But, oh well, that's cool. Let's uh, get a whole saw and drill that. Minor setback, we don't have the bolts for this. I know it came with it, but uh, I cannot find the hardware anywhere. That being said, we can still drill our hole. Just gotta find where it's center. All right, everybody, I'm gonna call the video there. We got so much done in this video. I mean, it might not look like it, but uh, I'm really happy with the progress. We are one step closer to pulling this body off. I have to do a little bit of interior work and then we can pop this thing off and start doing the body work and working on the frame and working on the motor. So we're that much closer to a big step in this car being done. If you saw something you like, dislike, something I can improve on, if you just wanna roast me, please do in the comments. And while you're doing that, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me build this channel and motivates me to keep making videos for you guys. But until then guys, we'll see you in the next video, Wilson Builds.